pretty much one of the main reasons why I came here, if not the only reason, was because Coach Maloney um, and everything that he promised to me and the vision that he had for the stadium and more importantly the vision he had for the program as a whole. Now, there wasn't much success there and then also coming in and looking at the facilities, uh, you know, it was kind of bottom of the barrel for the MAC. But the vision that he had for the program, the excitement and passion that he showed, uh, really went a long way in convincing you know, myself as well as the other guys on the team to come and, and take a shot. There was just like a, a belief in what he could do for this program and what he had done for this program uh, that just made it seem like it was uh, like a, something completely realistic that he was talking about. Obviously him being my dad, he didn't have to sell me on much. He kind of he kind of told me what was going on and, uh, and I just saw some of the other kids that were coming in with me and I was like, wow, like. We got a serious, we got a serious shot here to, to make a big difference. You just knew he was going to do it. Um, it wasn't like, oh, this is what I'm hoping for the program. It was like, this is where the program is going to be. He's a salesman. He's he's good at making anything that seems kind of dismal seem really good. And so he really sold me on the chance to be to be a part of changing a program. I think anybody that wants to leave a, a legacy, I mean, that's what every man wants is to leave a legacy. A legacy something this year's senior class knows all about. A group that committed to play for a team coming off a 14 and 36 season with a 14 and 36 stadium. I saw it and it was like, oh my, like my high school stadium was better than it. Stands were, you, you thought you were gonna fall through them. The dugouts, um, they were still like um, holes in the wooden dugout where pitchers had come out of the game and gotten mad and punched it from the years before us. Um, really cramped dugouts too, kind of steep going in, it was pretty dangerous I'd say. I didn't mind, I'd just go out there and play, but um, then when the turf and everything came in and I saw, you know, how good we have it now and then thinking back on what we had, I'm like wow that really wasn't that good. <laughs> Nothing like it looks now. We have the Taj Mahal of dugouts and I believe we have the Taj Mahal of fields in the MAC. I mean, we've got a turf field, we've got these big dugouts, we've got, I look back, um, the stadium and you see these back seats um, as opposed to the, the wooden bleachers that used to be there in my freshman year. It's literally anything that you would want uh, at a field, it's, it's there. You got the big dugouts, spacious, um, the field is perfect. And so are the memories that over three years the Cardinals have made. It was pretty special how that Rat Pack our freshman year really came together. We had a lot of guys who became really close friends, myself included, with seniors, but you don't see that very often. And those are the best memories of my life, honestly. Um, and it's it's been cool, like because I mean we're the only Rat Pack members left. I mean each team has their identity, but like that's through the years, that's always stuck with us. Partly because of what that group accomplished. Pretty easy. Uh, favorite memories, definitely freshman year, would be winning the MAC championship and dogpiling at Northern Illinois. And I would say that that memory's kind of driven us, like this year especially. Um, it's easy to think about that when you're putting in the work at a 5 a.m. workout. And coach always talks about like that's that dogpile is what you're working for. For us to have been able to grab that prize and dogpile and uh, you know celebrate our accomplishment is just. That's, that's something I'll never forget. Being a third baseman, I was like the second person to tackle the pitcher, and I'm sure the pitcher was the only person feeling worse than I was. When 30 other guys are piling on top of you, and it, uh, my freshman year I was a measly 155, so I'm thinking I'm not gonna make it out of here alive, and I need to get out of here ASAP. So I'm like, I remember trying to like army crawl out of the dog pile, like, oh, I need to get out of here bad. All of a sudden, just all people were just piling over, and I couldn't breathe when they were piled, but I mean, it's. That was like few minutes that your dog pound is probably one that's the greatest feeling that you can have. Close second, statement wins. Beating Kentucky freshman year is, is a blast. Um, beating LSU would be some high caliber teams. Going down to LSU, like that'll be a fun experience. Like that was all it really was. It wasn't like, oh, you guys like have a chance to beat them. And so that, that first game especially was a way that we could show everyone uh, how we play baseball at Ball State. We walked in the night before and we were eating Dinner and this guy opens the door for us and he goes, Tiger Bait, welcome, come on in. Hearing that crowd, it was a different noise. <laughs> I've never played in a game where um, there was that many people rooting against you, but uh, it almost like fed us. The place erupted and in center, you know, I'm the furthest away from anyone because there's nobody behind me. Um, and it was like, you know, I could barely hear anything. I usually look up to see my dad to see because he's always my loudest supporter, cheer, or something like that. I remember uh, rounding second base and I see this red flash bolting down the uh, left field line trying to go look for the ball. And I just uh, remember rounding the base and I'm like, man, I hope he gets that ball. And he did. We got a picture after the game with it and it was just, it's one of my favorite memories. So too was one of the craziest days of tournament baseball. We're up 9-1 to one in the ninth inning with 
two was an out was an out and uh, all of a sudden it, it gets nine to five and I'm, I'm looking over at Ryan out in the field and there's like they got guys on base we, there's two outs it's nine to five we're like dude like all right they came back a little bit we're about to get this out and I, we just we, the look on each other's faces we're just like I got we, have, we kind of have a bad feeling about this you know we ended up losing to Akron in that game I think it was the second or third game. They came back from seven runs in the bottom of the ninth and beat us, and we had to go back later that night after like a two-hour break. The second game we went in, and we were down by three runs in the ninth inning, and I don't know how it happened, but we came back, and uh, the craziest day of baseball of my life. I just remember it was like, you know, just the fight that we had. Like, obviously everyone was a little bit nervous, you know, coming in, um, but then the fact that we got down, and truly it wasn't over. Like, nobody's head was between their legs. Um, and, you know, we made it to the championship that year, and unfortunately it didn't go our way. Uh, but yeah, it seems like every year we always kind of do something that, that just makes a lasting memory on you. Hopefully supplanted by what's still left to come in 2017. The guys, the guys are what's well, making the experience and those relationships that last forever. And, you know, Coach Maloney constantly preaches relationships and, you know, my four years as a player are about to be done. But, you know, being a Ball State Cardinal, Ball State baseball player, it never ends.